This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, the physical computing unit, and I am on the lesson that's about accelerometer, the accelerometer. Steering wheel. This game is similar to the goalie game that you played, except a little different. Use your board as a steering wheel for the car. Move side to side. You have to get to the checkered flag at wall, interesting, avoiding the red flags along the way. Got it. Do this. Make the car move down the screen while the program runs. Give the car the ab ability to steer side to side. Think back to the programs you've made up until this point. How can you update these values? Ooh, and this is a part of a bigger project. Cool. This sounds cool. All right. So we need it to... What do we got so far? Let's shrink that. Oh, my goodness. Math absolute. So that's if it's touching. Okay, how do we move it? We don't even have that at all. Okay, so let's do then onboard event. So the car X property, get car X. Okay, so we have these variables declared. And let's use... We're also going to use the variable. Uh, we need to know about the role of the car. So let's just say variable role. And we're going to set that equal to. We don't really care yet when we first start. Do we? Uh, maybe we do. All right. So at the start, variable role is going to be equal. To the accelerometer, get orientation, and we want this to be roll. Okay? And then, though, each time we move it, we need roll to update. So I'm going to kind of cheat by using show text. I don't want to use var again because that variable is declared. But I'm going to do control C up until roll. And then control V. And let's switch back to box. I think it's easier to read. And there we are. Now, each time we move role is also updated so this is kind of redundant but regardless we got the variable declared up here and here we're just re redefining it each time we move all right so that's a good step now we need to change x and y whoops i mean x and y y gets us down the screen so i'm going to do that one first so what's our car oh our car's id is car so set property and then I want to set the property for a car. And what do I want to do? I want to do Y first because it gets us down the screen. And how? Do, what do I want to set that property to? Ooh, this is tricky. How am I going to set it with... So we'll probably want it to move automatically. So it only needs the ability to steer side to side. Okay, so that's kind of like the um, the soccer ball we used earlier. All right, so set the property to, well, we want to know what the property used to be. So car underscore y plus two. And so whatever the car's property is, we're going to add two to that, and that's going to be the new property. Now, to make sure this property gets reset each time, just like we did back in the, I think it was the soccer ball one, we need to get the property each time it runs too. So get property, and that way we'll know, we'll see the changes. Why is it not? Oh, well, we need to set it to a variable. So each time it runs, we're going to set the car y to, we need to get the whoops we need to get the property so car y each time we move it right each time we move the accelerometer each time we move the circuit board this function will run and we want it to get the current role we want it to get the current y value of the car because that's how we know what we're going to move it to by adding two to that so we need to get the property car not the width but the y all right, now 
let's think about steering. So X is going to be, they want us to use it like a steering wheel. So I assume roll would be like a steering wheel. So let's grab set property. And this time, well, it's going to be car again. And we're going to set X. And then, oh no, we're going to set it to, well, just like we did up there, we need to use our variable. I know that much, car underscore X. But what should we change it with? Well, we're changing it with the circuit express. So I'm going to say add a roll, which is what we used up here. So add the movement, add the roll. Now, in order to know what our x is at, our car dot underscore x is at to change it each time, we also need to check up here when we move each time we move the chip. So car underscore x and we need to do get property because we're going to get the current x value and then we're going to add roll to it each time uh, get property car and what do we want from car we want the x value and then we're going to change it up okay that looks good so far let's see so I think that's going to move it. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and test it out, I guess. We're going to hit run. Whoa. Oh, maybe it's moving too fast. Okay, that didn't... I'm going to set it at 1 this time. Oh, whoa, that was also very, very fast. Okay. Uh, reset that. Not doing well thus far run oh my gosh it takes the okay i need to hold it it's hard to hold it and hit reset oh it's moving too much how do you do this oh it's up and down so hopefully you're better at this than me obviously i can't imagine you're worse can we make it go the other way Oh, there it was. You did it? Ha ha ha. By going off the screen. Um, all right. Awesome. Uh, I think we have a good start. Let's see what we're doing on the next section. But, uh.